So in this industry as well, data matters a lot. So yeah. whenever you're developing a tech safe solution, you need to take care about the data, how the data is managing and how the data is stored. Okay. okay. So now, even in a data part, it's data part, if I'll expand, even your all the question is connected with the one answer I will suggest. Data, privacy, security and policies. Okay. So let's start with the data again. So, you know, first important point is that whenever you give the solutions or whenever the developer are working on, <clears throat> on the product, the where they are storing the data. This is the most important part and how they are storing the data. Hello, welcome to our first episode of Tech Talkies. In this episode, we will discuss how technology is transforming the taxi industry. My name is Fares and today we have the special guest, Mr. Mayur Pancha. He is the Chief and Technical Officer in Excellent Web World. With Mayur, we will discuss the latest trend and the development technology in the world wide. As we know, the transportation industry is continuously evolving ride hailing services to enhance the consumer experience by providing luxurious and the convenient way to travel. In today's episode, with Mayur, we will discuss how the technology is transforming the taxi industry. Mr. Mayur has years of experience in technology and deep understanding of ride hailing market. So, he will add wealth of knowledge and the insight about this industry. Before starting, let me share you some of the insight of this industry from my end. In this discussion, we will explore one of the important topics that every taxi industry guy are confused that what are the cost and what is the timeline to develop this kind of application. Because in market, there are lots of costs will be there. There is $700, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, $10,000, $40,000, $50,000, sometimes $300,000 will be there. So with Mayur, we will get more details on it. Are you ready for ride? So sit back, relax and enjoy our discussion with Mr. Mayur Pancha. Hey Mayur, welcome to our first episode of Tech Talkies, where we'll discuss about how technology is transforming the taxi industry. Thank you, Boris. Thanks for inviting me on your first episode at Tech Talkies. It would be my pleasure to be here. Okay, Mayur, can you please tell me about your technology journey and how many taxi applications you have developed with different countries? Sure, Boris. Uh, since last 15 years, I'm working in these industries, uh, in the technology industry, I can say. And in my this journey, uh, the most of my time I have spent to develop a taxi application for my various clients. Uh, if I say about the country's names, uh, we have started with the USA, Canada, then Europe, then you can say Saudi, and Qatar, Kuwait. Then we have also worked with uh, Dubai. And apart from that, we have worked in African countries like Kenya, then uh, Nigeria, as well as some of the small countries like Tanzania. And there are a few islands as well, where there are small islands, there are less po small populations, but there are all the works and the transportation work on the local business. So where we have also worked and provided the solution to them. And apart from that, uh, if I talk about the last couple of, back, couple of years back, we had worked with the Australia, and uh, New Zealand as well. And in the New Zealand, especially, we had had a good good experience where we have worked with the different different laws because you know in the New Zealand and in Australia there are different laws to work with that. So we had a good experience over there as well. So if I can summarize that you have worked with mostly all corner of the world. Yeah, you can say that. Okay, that's great. So Mayur, we have find some of the questions from the internet that people are generally asking in taxi industry and they are getting a random answer. Mm -hmm. So we will discuss that question with you. So let's we start about our sure. first question. So people are searching that what exactly they know before starting any taxi application. Yeah. So, you know, to start the, any business, and especially in the tech sector development, there are the few parameters which we need to look into that. Uh, especially, I, I, as per my experience, I have divided it into the four pillars. The first pillar I talk about is the market research and analysis. So, before you start any tech sector development, you need to see what is your current market. Do you have the competitors? You have to do the competitor analysis and you have to do the market research. The second pillar I will suggest is that about the operations. If you have the competitors, how the competitors are making operational the current business, so you need to understand how the operations is working. Third, I will suggest an uh, investment. So you know how much the funding you will need it, how the current funds to start the business, how much funding you needed to operationally run the business, and how how much funding needed to survive the business at initial level. Okay. And the fourth and most important part, the way we are talking about that, is the technology. 
it all the three, three things are of course those are important but you know the technology is where your business is running and on on whatever people are going to see that so if your technology is not that strong you're not able to survive the business so technology is a major important aspect in this business yeah that's our main discussion about application yeah. development so uh, just one some simple question that it is right time that we have to make this application it's as, as everyone says it's never late so whenever you start it's a time to start so for sure the current time is really good to start the taxi web solutions okay that's uh, let me tell you also some things on that uh, you know everyone is saying that there are a lot of competition in the market yeah it's always a good time to start the new business yeah that's true okay uh, i want to start application like any user wants to start the application do you have any unique idea like book now book later that is the everyone has using so do you have any other ideas that we are implement on a taxi applications yeah of course like you know if you will just do the random things whatever everyone is doing the market and if you will launch it you will not get success you have to make a unique usp in your product you okay make it something customized or something unique so user will attract your applications so if i talk about a few things for example if i want to say you know the, in the in the if we talk about the major names uh, we know that what are the big major big brands are there in the market few things they don't have the one major thing i say you know in a driver application most of the time all the company charge driver a percentage that like is around 30 to 35 percentage when you can launch your product and you can uh, suggest a driver that okay you don't need to pay commission on the trip okay. we will charge you a flat fee on daily basis mm -hmm. and that fees you have to pay to the company and all the trip are coming the whole money will go to the driver so if i'll give you the one simple example which is a real example i'm giving you we have launched one of the taxi solutions and we got success in that the customer made almost 1000 drivers in in just two months oh in just two months just two months uh, just 1000 driver and the charges was just 10 dollars a day okay so they are just charging a 10 dollars a day to each driver so they have a 1000 driver so they're getting 10000 dollars a day from that trip Okay, like fixed cost. Fixed cost. That is the so if the driver is taking ten trips or hundred trips or zero trip, driver has to pay ten dollars to the company. So that okay. the company is at least making a ten thousand dollars a day. Okay. The, anything else that? Sure. Like this is just one example. Okay. There are more major examples are there. You know, there are the dispatcher panels. You know, the ride sharing applications. So ride yeah. sharing features you can introduce it there. There are the dispatchers are there. The hotel booking portals are there. Then there are the corporate panels are there. So there are a lot of custom features are there which you can implement it, and you can get a more profit. And there is one 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 quick thing I forgot it. There is one unique feature which we have introduced actually. I have suggested this to my customers. Okay. There is a feature called meter. Okay. So meter is one of the features where you know there there are some local countries are there they don't wants to install the applications as a passenger. So okay. what they do they just go to the walk station or they go to the railway station then they hop to the they, 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 hey taxi and they yeah go. yeah yeah. So in that we have given a special meter features to the drivers so they can just start the meter on their phone. So that way we have removed the physical meter from the taxi app. Okay, that I think it will be good for the any travelers. If anyone is traveling, they do not want to install the application, they can directly use it. Correct. Yeah, that's a great idea, I think. Thank you. So far, we discussed about the mobile app ideas that you say the innovation we can add. But if it doesn't want to include anything more, so what are the basic features that we have to add to beat the competition? Uh, yeah, sure. Actually, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll... Uh, help you on that more. Uh, actually, we had a few customers where they don't have a massive investment or they don't have the proper plan mm. on the board, but still they want to run the company. To be frank, they were doing the business locally. Uh, let me give you a live example so our user can also understand how the journey works. So basically, there were a few drivers groups. They are five to six drivers. They were in US. Uh, they they all had a uh, text. Tesla cars mm -hmm. and they have a local business where what they're doing they have one informative website and they have one contact us forms where any customers come and they fill the inquiry where they want to pick up and drop off and when the inquiry come they have one whatsapp group where they were sending the inquiry and they were taking further from there so they are the very okay. six limited six people of people where they are doing this business so then later on so they are managing manually manually okay, okay. Yeah. so now later on they decided that we, they want to move ahead with the technologies and that's how they reach out to us and what we started with them so we, we started with the limited solutions for them so for example for them we started uh, only driver app in ios 
Okay. Uh, when the booking applications customer app, it was for the Android and iOS booth, where we put the limited uh, features with the like book now, book later, and the admin panel, this admin panel where they can review the stuff, and the driver app in iOS as I said. So that's how we started with the minimal things for them, where at least the business can go digitally, and still they have the, all the features which the normal taxi app have it. Okay. And, and from there they started and then as the journey went more, as they got a profit, they expanded the solution. And right now the solution is fully fledged and a lot of things are working inside that. Okay. So means they have started with a small journey. They make only application for drivers at iOS and they give the user a both application, iOS and Android. So that's why they save the cost and they make a digital solution. Correct. It is It is not the only the that way, but you depend on the user's requirement. You can okay. start the minimal MVP solutions okay. with, with something like, you know, booking, book now, book later, and then the histories and the basic feature in the application itself okay. and the driver app only in one technology. So that way it will save the cost. Save the cost, yeah, true. Okay. Suppose now I have decided that uh, user wants to develop this application. Yeah. They are ready to develop. So what is the process that how they can start a taxi app development process? Like what they have to understand from development side. Okay. Your your part, your technology <laughs> part. Yeah. So once once they have reached out to us, uh, let's say we decided that how we want to process we in the paperwork. So we have the dedicated team we put on their solutions. Okay. So in the team, there are part of. Uh, three base like it's a back end side a mobile app side and the front end side okay and from that first of all that's the first things we do is a wireframing and the designing okay uh, the second step we start working on the design integrations in the development process okay third important thing which is once we do that uh, our development done we do a beta testing okay and the quality assurance the fourth step which we do go ahead is the live okay so for any species where the client will include like whatever the who is the founder of this taxi application mm. what inputs you get from them whenever like when they want to start a designing mm. so what this is what data you will collect from them sure so you know in, in each phase actually when the project is yeah. coming i'll divide that our complete development process divide into the separate sprints okay the first sprint we call is the design so even the whenever the design process start we give them a design analysis file from our side okay. like what they what they likes what they don't likes what are they looking for in the projects so they just give us in a rough documentations and that's how our expert designer taking further from there so your team will get the idea yeah, what exactly, exactly you you client is, client is looking for. inside okay, that okay, yeah. so once they give us a feedback we design mm -hmm. it we create the mockups we represent the mockups to them then they okay. give that feedback and from there we're taking further and once once they look into the approvals that okay okay they look into the designs and they like it once they approve we go to the next step oh. same way in an expert in a development as well we divide the development in all the sprints mm -hmm. and each sprint have certain development we do it then we represent to the clients they review it and once okay. they approve it, we go further the next. So every phase you share the details with the client, so they can really remain on the same page. Correct. We call as a sprints. Okay, fine. That that's really nice. That I like this way that how the development process is going. So will be client will also remain in a loop that where they are. So that that's a really nice thing. So but this is the process part will be done. Now uh, user is also searching something like what technology platform and framework will be used to develop this kind of application. And also, what level of technical expertise needed when they are looking for any companies? Sure, but this is technology have various options from where you can choose it, especially okay. depending on the customer's uh, need on, on budget prospect or I can say the timeline prospect. Because you know, many times customer wants to launch the business as soon as possible, or sometimes they are struggling with the budgets. So, depending on the budget, you can choose the technology. Okay. So, if I talk about the technology side, there are three different sides of the technology. Uh, first of all, we can talk about the back end. So in the back end, there are a the few options where you can choose which technology you want to choose it. If I'll say the name of technology is something like Node.js, uh, then there is a few frameworks of PHP, something like Laravel, or even the coding data as well, from where you can choose which platform you want to choose it. So depending on your technical advisor, you can choose the which technology is better. Okay. Then second aspect uh, is from the mobile app side, where you can have uh, two options. One is the native web development, and another option is a hybrid app development. Okay. So depending on the budget and the timeline, you can choose the options. If you take my recommendations, you should go with the natives. But hybrid is also, you can choose it. It's, there is no harmless or the drawbacks that you cannot start with the hybrid. Okay. But when you have a limited budget and you have a less timelines, 
you can should go with the hybrid mm-hmm. and even in the hybrid as well there are few options are there okay. which, which you can choose it so from technology side if i can say in the hybrid like there are the flutter react native ionic xamarin okay. there are the further options are there from where you can choose which technology you want to choose it and regards to front end websites it's it's really an optional things initially you okay. don't need to be there a functional website you can start with the landing page informative website which you can start with any cms like a drupal or wordpress or even any any informative websites so like they are ready made builders are available just the information yeah even yeah. there's these days uh, the form builders using that or ready made website builders are available which you can use it okay but later on whenever your business is running and if you want to develop a functional website where mm-hmm. the customer can come and they can book your taxi and they can log in and see the history etc so you can develop your functional website uh, at that time you can choose a framework like php frameworks like coordinator or the node js or the php or the framework is like laravel okay okay and you can alternate options for that if you have chosen the hybrid app development from the mobile app side to so same hybrid technology you can use to develop your front end website so for example if okay. i have choose the flutter for the mobile app so i can same way i can choose the flutter for the front end website is flutter available for both web yes, and yes. okay that's true actually the, you can reuse the code on the front end as well in the same way in the react native if you have choose the mobile app in a react native so you can use the react for the front end okay mean from one technology i can get all the solutions that's true this is why they call as a hybrid solutions so okay. if i say more little bit about the technology sides so hybrid solution is something where you can use the, you can write a code in a single language but you can deploy the solution in a multiple platform that's why it save the time but there are the few limitations are there which might come on a future phase okay but there is nothing wrong to start with the hybrid okay so what is native like it's a uh, native platform like i have to develop a separate application for yes. ios and android the so native is the you can say the heritage or the main backbone of the application that's how it's founded so okay. in a native in ios we call and we do the development in a swift mm-hmm. where in the android we can do in java or kotlin that are the native okay. apps where the both the separate developers will work on that The native oh. iOS developer will be separate, and native Android developer will be so separate. So that is the where cost will increase. Do in Java or Kotlin. Development cost. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So what type of technical expertise is it? Can it can be done by any kind of uh, person who have one year no, or no, no. freshers? Uh, I was about to come on that point. Actually, whenever you start with the, any kind of development firms, or let's say whenever you you choose a small company or bigger company, it doesn't matter. But you, what things matter is that you should have the developer who have at least three to four years of experience in this industry. Okay. and apart from that on top of that you should need some kind of a technical guideline on top of the developers because developer will only do the development as they have given but someone needs to be there as a technically to monitor them to make sure okay. that whatever they are doing is perfectly and the whatever the format they are following it's perfect so for example i suggest like you should follow in mvc structure or mvc structures so someone should be there to monitor that that's a really i think informative information for my team and as well as the users who are watching this video okay so now the important part user privacy mm-hmm. nowadays there is a very bigger concern for every one who is developing application user data so can you please tell me that how it will be stored and collect the data in taxi application and what type of privacy or security we have to implement in application <laughs> it's a big questions but i'll highlight the code is the data okay. so it is all about the data these days yes and uh, it data is more in, more costlier than time and money if i'll say in, in a simple word so in this industry as well data matters a lot so yes. whenever you're developing a taxi app solution you need to take care about the data how the data is managing and how the data is stored okay, okay. so now even in a data part it data part if i'll expand even your all the question is connected with the one answer i will suggest data privacy security and policies okay so let's start with the data again so you know first important point is the whenever you give the solutions or whenever the developer are working on <clears throat> on the product the so where they are storing the data this is more important part and how they are storing the data okay so for example it's an information about the users it is information about the drivers it's information about the trip or it is the information about the billings yeah so you have to make sure <clears throat> that your developer are storing the data properly securely that no one can directly access the data or they cannot scrap the data or they cannot sell the data easily to someone else someone so else, that you yes. make sure and just because of that and on the storage there is a different laws connected with the each countries so you have to make sure you you follow that guideline to storing the data as well like as we know in europe yep. countries it's yep. not allowed, allowed that sell the data or 
True. So even if I talk about the more in a Europe regulatory and laws, uh, there are certain laws in Europe that you cannot use any server which is not hosted outside Europe. So for example, if I'm developing a solution and if my, ser my server is outside Europe, they will not allow it. You will be legally be in issues. So you have to make sure. I have to purchase a server for Europe region only. Correct. So okay. Even it's not that difficult. Let's say for example, there are different hosting services out there. They are there in Europe. So even there are famous few hosting services like AWS or the Google Cloud. So yes. you have to just make sure whenever you create your instance, which is located in Frankfurt or Europe region, that's okay, the simple yeah. thing they need to take care about that. Yes, okay. Now about the privacy policy and the security. Uh, security. Uh, so about the security, I can say whenever you have the few informations you store in the database, you have to make sure there are few... Like payment information. Correct. So specifically, if I talk about the, can, there's a kind of the billing information. So whenever the yes. customer is paying their credit via the credit cards or the bank details, okay. so to make sure whenever you store, it is not directly stored in your database. It is encryptedly and legally you cannot store the billing information in your database okay so that's where you have to make sure depend on the payment gateway which you're choosing you have to maintain in the code such a way that it doesn't store your information directly yes okay and about the privacy policy uh, actually let me give you some funny examples actually we were like it's been a couple of years back we were working with one of the company okay uh, so they initially they have done a product uh, they have developed the taxi up with a different vendor and uh, they have running into issues so what they did it they just developed the taxi solutions and they, they just copy paste the privacy policy from someone else okay like directly just copy and paste it on they even, they, they even forget to rename the few words over there and that's how they come in the legal issues okay the legal issues yes that's true because taxi up solution is not only just the development so whenever you're hiring me as a CTO, this is my advice that you need to take care about all the part which it needs to be taken care. So I always suggest that privacy policy should be well written and well focused with your business. Okay, so I have to consider a lawyer for that yes. to make a privacy policy. Professional policy. lawyer, I can say. So this is your expertise that okay. I feel that sometimes what happens, I can, anyone, if they can find a cheap developer or cheap solution, this will be not there yeah. i know this is a very simple part but if i cannot consider it as the main important thing then it will be create a critical issue of course it will literally whenever the, any client who are starting the taxi evolution they just think that they're looking for the book now book later <laughs> but there are a lot of other stuff which is matters and that will come in the picture whenever you finish the development so okay. people doesn't care what will be happen if i'll not take care about those parts yeah. So I always suggest whenever my customer come, we always go through this complete journey together and then we start the development. Yeah, the small part, but it is very important. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mayur, for focusing on this particular part. I think the part always go through this complete journey. Your experience will be matter for a taxi industry. Thank you. So this is all about user privacy and security. But uh, some user is also searching that what regulatory challenges will need to be addressed. And what step we'll have to take on with local laws and regulation? Like we all know that different country has a different laws. So if I want to implement any taxi application, so can it will be directly launched or that we have to follow some local laws? Yeah, sure. The laws are different for each country, and you have to make sure that you follow the laws and regulatory of each country. Okay. So as I said, we have worked with, I especially I have worked with a lot of countries. Uh, and I know about the regulatory. So we, I'll give you a few examples. So you will, you, you are our user will yeah. get an idea that how how the things are different. So let's say you know, let's say I start the taxi uh, taxi solutions in any country, for example, and I'm just running it. It initially maybe that gets awesome, but whenever you get started, you will get in trouble. For example, in a, let's say we talk about the New Zealand. So you know, New Zealand have the laws as a labor laws that you cannot work more than eight hours a day. Continuous okay. eight hours. So, yeah. for example, if you are working a normal taxi app solution, and if the driver is working more than eight hours, then your business will be in trouble. Same way in the US side. The US side, there are the different laws for the insurance. If your driver is running without the insurance, and if he got into trouble, your business will be getting the trouble. Then, if okay. we talk about the more solutions about <clears throat> the few countries that whenever it is stored about the payment stuff, if you are doing the payment integration in the in the uh, solution, and if it is not uh, regulated by the certain laws of the each, that country, you will be created in the issue. Uh, if if I'm if I'm not uh, wrong, there is a one country where we had worked with them. That is a very small country. Okay. They had a laws that you have to use their local bank gateway only to do all the online transactions. 
and that company did in the normal wallet integrations. So okay. later on they get in, in trouble and then after there's been a long trouble and they got the resolve issues. So each country has their own laws and local regulators, which I strictly suggest you need to do the market research before you're starting the business. Okay. And you have to follow that in the development. And the developer, your tech team should be aware about all the things and they should do the proper integration in the product. Yeah, that is the main thing that you have to integrate. Yes. So, so if anyone can be just develop the application, it's not enough. Yep, that's true. Okay. Okay, now my one of the most trending question on internet. What is Uber clone? <laughs> like like everyone is just searching for Uber clone, Uber clone, and even, dev even development companies are targeting Uber clone, Uber clone. But what is Uber clone? Yeah, actually, you know, in, in our India, <clears throat> there's one example. Actually, you know, whenever we go in a marketplace, we say I want to buy a Colgate. Okay. No one say I want to buy a toothpaste. So it is the same thing actually. People have created the big hype, Uber clone, Uber clone. Actually, it's a ride hailing app or the taxi booking applications, not Uber. Uber is one of the big brands who have made his market and now that's why it's famous. So that's why they're all running behind the name Uber. There are okay. many other companies and the brands are there who have made them better than Uber. And okay. to be frank, many of our users know that due to the Uber's policy and the Uber's rules, they're running into the loss. And mm -hmm. the 70 to 80 percent of Uber drivers are not happy, but they're just using that just because they need to earn money. Yeah, because lots of users will be there. Yes, and that is why our business is there. Like if you create an alternative of Uber, travel would love to join you because they also want to earn more. Earn more. Okay. Yeah. So if I come to the question, so it is ultimately a taxi booking applications where there are the two entity drivers and the passengers come on the platforms and where they can survive their goals. Driver want to take a ride and where the passenger want to take a ride and they want to go from location A to location B. And along with that, there are a lot of other features are also there which we can implement into the solution. So I always say it's a taxi booking applications or ride booking uh, booking as solutions. Okay, so I think the user is just typing Uber clone because they want to make an app like that. They don't know the real name is ride hailing services or taxi booking application. Correct. As I said, okay. toothpaste is and a taxi booking and Colgate is a brand Uber. called Uber. Okay, that's good. Okay, now uh, clone, as we are discussing about the clone. So is it legal that I can make a clone of Uber? There is, there is, and I can launch it and it will be not created any issue like copyright, trademark or anything. Yeah, sure. As for my experience, I will suggest and I'm working since that many years. Until and unless you are not using the Uber source code or a Uber logo or Uber authorized, authorized wordings into your product, you are legal to do that. Yeah. You are simply starting your own business with the custom solutions or ready-made available solution from the market. You are reusing the source code and you are doing it. And in a technology, no one has a copyright of IP that I cannot develop such kind of things again. Okay, so we have to just take care about the Uber branding with source code of the Uber. Yes. So if, it if, 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 if you can make a new source code, there is no issue for that. Of course, Uber will not gonna deliver you the source code for that. Yeah. So, but you, what you need to take care of is like the design, what the Uber we have right now. Because you know, this day Apple and the Google have also the policy, something you cannot reuse the someone else design into the, your app. So if they will found that this is the exact copy paste of the design, they will mm -hmm. not approve your applications. Okay, means from same company you are purchasing a four to five or six or clone and I will just upload it on internet. That will not work. So it will not work. Yeah, this is a very good policy that Apple have started since one or two years. Okay, so it means like I have to change the designing. Yes, you have to do some level of changing in design then and then Apple will approve your application. Application. Okay, so as we are discussing about clone, so how much time it will take if I can develop app from scratch or I can get any, any ready-made clone from market? Uh, see, right now in the, the IT market is very open market too. Yes. Like I will say that the clone right now there are a few companies who are delivering within a two weeks, two four weeks. Within a two to three weeks, they are delivering a, a clone services. Okay. But those clones are the very old solution which might they have developed a couple of bags years back. They have no proper regulatory follow the guidelines or not even the code are updated to the market. Okay. So I will not suggest to go with that side. And another solution is the custom solutions well it will take a time to develop it because you need to work on the design files you need to approvals as, as we talk about the development process you need to go through the complete process so it will definitely take a time of at least five to six months of time okay okay that's fine okay we'll develop the app from scratch or might be get a clone but 
the thing is everyone is looking for monetization yeah. so how can i generate a revenue or what type of pricing model we have to use to make it profit <laughs> everyone runs behind the profit so as a as an entrepreneur because as an entrepreneur and as a cto i always say to my clients don't think on the profit for the first day okay. or even not in the first few months yeah that but, business if you can't get the money from day one yeah so i always suggest to them but yeah i always make an assurance that you should not make a loss from okay. your business so to do that there are a lot of ways where you can get in uh, earning from your application initial basis so as i suggested is few things like in our last questions that you know you can get a flat fee to the driver initially instead of that you can charge a less flat fee to the driver so driver will not hesitate to pay the small amount to the owner so let's say if i talk about the five dollars so any driver will not have an issue to pay just the five dollar so even if you have let's say 300 drivers on your platform is initially and if there is a five dollars uh, a day a driver is one thousand five hundred dollars a month sorry a day, day you are getting it so i think it's very much enough to survive all cost okay apart from that there are the few other things are there for example you can promote the local businesses on your application so if you're good in the market if you're doing a good marketing you can definitely ask a few promoters they can promote their business on your platforms and you can get earned from the advertisements yeah that that's the right thing yeah. apart from that there are other few other things are there with from where you can increase your profit ratio is something like you know the ride sharing as i said so using the ride sharing initially even there are multiple people are traveling the business will earn and you will get more rides at the sharing basis in a sharing you can earn more from your business okay rather than single person single like i can choose the right sharing option then yeah okay that's that's a really good knowledge for the users who want to develop the applications okay now meet a private or meet a personal i can say that lots of companies are making uber applications like taxi application or ride hailing applications why anyone will choose you <clears throat> very nice question <clears throat> yeah so now i have to sell myself to my users okay sure so before let me tell you one thing so you know what are the questions we have asked so far the many of the questions you might not aware about the answers yeah, or maybe yeah. when the user doesn't know about the regularity or the laws yeah. or the privacy policy and etc even as, as i say you can hire any company or any freelancer team or something to develop it except but if you will not have a monitor on top of that you don't have a mentor on top of that no one can success without mentor Yeah, okay sure. so that's how where i can come i give my expertise to the tech teams the what they have to do how they have to do yeah, okay sure. so that's it's also important about how it will be helpful in a market mm -hmm. so i my role start from the market research i do market research for myself or for my client second thing i do my best to make the tech team very uh, very much aware how they have to do the development what are the tech tech stack they have to do it what are the changes they have to do in the frameworks what are the upgrades we need to do it that i guide them then once the development has been finished what are the quality assurance steps which we have to take on care i guide them that what way we have to do the testing because i am working with many countries and i know how what kind of issues are coming in the real time real okay. challenges are coming yeah. so i know about those challenges and i do take care about this part and i guide my developer that these are the testers they need it and apart from that once the development has been done and you are in the market that's where also my important role comes i know what are the real challenges will come in the market what are the pre precautions you have to take it before you go in a launch and okay. once you are in a launch once the your rides are running what are the challenges you will come so i will be, be i will be in advance that okay these are the steps we have to take care yeah, once okay. we reach to the that steps okay so that where my expertise will help the customer and all apart from that if i am there as a cto the client doesn't need to take care about any technical part he just need to focus on other pillars technically he can leave everything on me he don't need to think about what i need to take care about my app he just focus on market market okay that's true and also that somehow somewhere you can help them on a server side too like yeah, if, if if there is a lot of rush on application sometimes it crash is happen so how it can be balanced so if they have you so they don't need to worry about that as i says whenever you are in the market i know there are the few things will come when the user are getting increase when the user are getting decrease when the user load are getting increase on the servers so we know the precautions what are the taken we create our instances such a way i will guide my devops engineers or i will guide my developers so what are level of instance they have to create what are the load balancing they have to do on a server what are yes. the multiple instances they have to create so this is what i says whenever we in a market what are the challenges will come and i'll make my team 
అవైలబుల్లోజెక్ట్ then second step is coming the designing part that you we need a ux designers who create your design for the mobile app and the uh, website then once that is ready then the real part is come for the development for the development we need an expert back end developers we need the mobile app developers in android and ios then we need even front end developers once that is done then we need politicians people we can call as a qa once qa has been done then we need an support guys who, who work on the servers and the deployment okay so these are the expert team you need it. throughout the journey okay this is a journey during the development but what type of supports needed after the development and what type of tech team needed once the development is done so yeah sure so once the development has been completed there is a limited team you needed okay. and this team is depend on your need and your budget you can maintain the team okay. but if i suggest you need at least a full developer full time okay not initially but once your business is running successfully later on you need the full full time developers where that includes the mobile app android ios back end developers and one of the cto who can work around with you so there is a four team member you needed because you know there are a lot of things we need to maintain once you go live like if you can server things or let's say what are the real issues are coming in the marketing market times so those are the things to be taken care by the developers even there are a lot of different instances we have to create uh, so a little bit more technically if i say whenever we start any projects we start with the two servers we call as a development server and second server we call as a staging server so staging server is always for the customers review so okay. whatever the developer do the changes or do the development we deploy to the staging server mm-hmm. and server clients can review those stuff and they can check everything and they can give the feedback which we can fix on the development server and then we promote it to the staging okay now once we go live there is a third server which we create which we call as a production server okay so now whenever we are in a market there are three server we need to maintain development staging and the production so all the development will be done on only development server we will push the code to the staging the staging server will be used for the testing purpose for the client and our internal team okay. so whenever you are facing for example someone say some driver say we are not able to finish the trip or we are not able to finish the start the trip so that kind of issues we can reproduce it on the staging server we can do the dummy trips we can do the dummy payments on the staging server and we can rectify and we can find the issues the same issue we can fix it on the development and then we can push a code on the staging once we produce okay the issue has been fixed then we promote the same code on the productions so that way we make an assured that we are not doing any kind of live changing on the server which doesn't affect our live users so it will be not affect to the other users the live users okay that, that that's a really nice thing because otherwise if i can do in a live environment directly no, no, might right. be that issue is happen to the user by some other reason and we create the application that's so this is the how you know that if one professional team will be there they will do such kind of things yes. so i always recommend don't touch the live server for any coding environment and even the deploy deployment will be done on a special time zones we create the time zone gap where the, you have less traffic of the less traffic which we that. monitor practically at this time we don't have a traffic or we have a less traffic at that time we promote the service. you can promote okay. and about the team the question you says maybe you can start with the part time team you need let's say half day team or maybe you can hire the developer on hourly basis so whenever you have let's say whenever you start you don't have enough budget or to hire the full dedicated team you can suggest to go with the hourly rate let's say whenever your issue is coming you can hire the team for 40 hours or the 50 hours and you can utilize those hours when the issue is coming okay so they will purchase uh, hours yes and during that hour if any issue will be rise we will solve it yeah that is a very feasible solution if they want to reduce the cost correct okay mayur now there are two type of uh, users who are searching for this kind of solutions one is who have a physical taxi business oh. they are not online till now they are just running a few taxis like 15 20 or 25 taxis they have and they are running physically they don't have online and one user is they have already existing application but it is not running perfectly there are lots of issue or might be user is not there so what what they have to do like how they will connect you to beat the competition sure 
So first of all, let's start with the who are the very small business. We don't have the app actually. Yeah, physical. Part. Physical. They, they they do are running that good taxi business. They have let's say twenty or thirty drivers. So let's they do have their own cars or they have All their cars. own drivers. Yeah. They want to start the business. So for them, it's really good opportunity to meet the business to be online. That way, right now, whatever they're doing, they are, they have already existing database where their customer call them and they send the driver to manually. Okay. And now there there is a market where they have a tough competitions. No one wants to take a call, or let's say they would. No one want to make a call. They can, okay, I want to go from here to here and there. Everyone wants an okay. It's a handy thing. I'll book my trip. I want to book my privacy. Okay, I don't want to tell anyone where I'm going. So I'll just put my drop up location and then I can book it. Yes. So to to be there in the market, you need to go online. Where that kind of customer will come on on the board and we can give them solutions as per their need, as per their current market, and what we can do to expand their market, how they can make a bigger profit if they make an a platform for us. They're coming online. Online. And about the second thing is, who have already bought the solutions from somewhere, they have the clones or they have own solutions, yeah. maybe they have customized. Yeah, that but, is what. But they are not running perfectly. Okay. Then we also help them. We call as a technical due diligence, which is one of the service which I provide. That there are many customers who were running the business, they bought the script, or even they have done a custom solutions, but they didn't get the satisfied from the, what they have spent or what they are doing. So that's where I came in the picture. We do the deep, uh, technical due diligence for their source code, what are they are doing, what are their current activities they are doing, what are their market. So we do all the research on that on behalf of them. We do the code review and etc. And then we suggest what are the things to be taken care to make the solution niche and clear. Okay, so like if there is any kind of box will yes. be there in application, you know, every, every technical part you will consider from uh, your ultimately end. Ultimately, the technical due diligence is the service which take care from their existing solutions and to make it perfectly working in the market. So whatever the things we need to take, for example, if it's a code level changes, even it's a logic level changes, or even it's some rules we have to implement technically, or let's say, as I said, the country wise, the, some privacy we have to edit. So everything will be taken care by me on that. Okay. So all the my suggestions will be given and my team will improvise all the things. So to all our users who are watching this video and they have application, but it's not running successfully, then they might be contact you for a technical due diligence. Yeah, for sure. If you are running the taxi solution, and you're not satisfied with the, your solution, then I'm giving the assurance that once you do the technical due diligence with us, you will get 100% <coughs> result from our side. It's not about the technical side, but it's also about the operation side as well. So now app is launched, now it's already in market. So do you have any tactics that how can I get more users and drivers on the platform? Sure, Paris. I'll help you with a few suggestions and a few tactics, how we can uh, expand the business in a startup or how we can get the user base for the users of drivers and the passengers and this is what i, I have uh, got my this is what i have learned from my experience i will say that it's not my personal advice or my suggestions so whenever you are launching or once you're done with the development you need to be make sure you are doing the pre-marketing for the launching and there's just some launch event is more important to launch the business so whenever you have to launch the business you do this some kind of marketing you have to make aware that there's a big event is happening and you're launching something as a product is something in the market so launch event is most important part the first thing so how the local audience will be aware about that and they will get on on your platform second thing is about that your marketing efforts you have to make sure you have a good marketing team on board and they're doing the, the, all the local marketing especially on the you know, social on board and they're doing the, all the drivers they have a lot of drivers groups are there over the facebook instagrams or even the snapchats there are the social media where the drivers are available on local groups, on the local communities okay. are available. So on dot posts, you should market yourself that these are coming in the stuff. So that way your drivers will get on board. And as soon as you have a more driver, you will definitely get more customers on the platform. So most important for, for this business is the driver data. So first target as a investor or as a owner of the product, you need to think is how I can make my driver database more stronger. So this is how you can expand the things. Then to do more drivers, to get the more drivers, you should promote the few things like as a few months for first month or two months or the first few weeks, as much as you can afford. You can make sure, okay, there's no commissions or there's no charges from the app side. So whatever earnings of the trip, you will do it. It will be pure goes to the drivers. Yeah. So that way you can get more earnings. So driver will come on the board without any, any charges. So why they will come easily with you. And once you have more drivers on that, so definitely more customers will come on the boards to get the rights. 
And for the customers as well, you can do promote on the social media as that we have the text application here. And there are certain kind of promotional offers you can put on the social media, like some first right free or 50% off on your rights. That is the one thing. Then to attract more audience, if you have some kind of uh, celebrities or you can say influence influencer on the market, you can connect with them. Let's ask them, they can share the uh, share your application on the social media. So that's how you can also increase your uh, user database. And apart from this, there are, you know, there are very small things, but you know, this is what I have uh, got a result from that. You know, there are freebies are there like the mobile chargers or the accessing cables, etc. So create a small kit with the t-shirts of your own branding and something and give it to your drivers. Yeah. And that way it will promote it yourself. Will promote. Promote. Yeah. And as a techn technology wise, I will suggest we can put the referral bonus. So if one customer is referring to another customer, we can get some percentage bonus. So that way one customer will do your marketing, mouth to mouth marketing. Mouth -to -mouth marketing. It will be there. And it will be the same way for driver as well. So okay. this is how you can initially even get started with the more users. Also, you can might be distribute the flyers at uh, yeah, yeah. existence or wherever. That is all a very good idea, as you say. So, uh, let's say it's a local flyers, you know, you put in the local markets, the malls, or even airports, or even the social communities or the local places, and the more audience are available. Yeah, you can flare the uh, flyers. And apart from that, if you if you know some of the holdings, put the local holdings yeah, that is, on the that streets. Is bigger advertisement. Bigger advertisement. That's a really nice idea. I think most of the taxi owners, who is the taxi application owner, they have to implement these things to get more users and drivers on that platform. Okay. Now the bigger question that everyone is, I think, waiting for the answer of this question. Like, what is the cost and timeline to develop and launch this kind of application? Because we have also read our users also read there are lots of prices available in a market from where 3000 4000 8000 10 40 50000 even 300000 dollars 500000 dollars we have listened so please tell us to our users what is the real price how we can get a solution with minimum to the maximum price sure so as i said there are very big market in the tech industries and these days you know one thousand two thousand even seven hundred dollars or eight hundred dollars people are selling the clothes yeah which is too cheap and i suggest don't go around that because this is ultimately waste of money i will give you the assurance that if you will buy that kind of script at one level you will get a big failure and that money will be totally wasted so even if you have if you, if you don't have much funding i suggest to wait for funding or raise the money and then start with that so once you start with the mvp uh, at, at certain level you will run the mvp and then you can as, as you're rising the funding or let's say you once you're earning from your business you can invest more on the business and you can expand your your solutions as you want you can add on the more features or maybe you can make your technology more stronger you can upgrade your app regularly okay. now let's talk about the next phase that's let's, let's say the people who are really really that they are founded they have the good investors on the board or they have the good funding ready and they want to make sure the product is on this large scalable large scalable way or uh, they they want to plan properly and they want to really beat an uber or some kind of strong taxi solution and they want to make a solution for that so if you want to go that way you know if you will start this such kind of business in let's say us or canada or any professional companies they will definitely charge you more than 200 or 300 thousand dollars and they will give you the time around one and a half year or two years Okay. It will be also like a big timeline and I say if you start that way, I don't know where the technology is going. So maybe whenever you reach to the end of the project and something new will come in the market. So that's where I will suggest you should start with the customized solutions. Something like we and I developed and we have worked with the most of the customers and we have created our modules ready for all the solutions. Or let's say each country wise or each regulatory wise we have created our own modules like booking modules, book later or the drivers, uh, drivers working cultures and the insurance and the payment gateway. So all the modules we have created already and we can okay. utilize it as per the customer's need. And in this solution as well, the customer will get their own design and customized solution for that. It's not a clone or something, but we can reuse the module and we can deliver the solutions to the client in a less time. Uh, and if you talk about the precise number, this solution may will take around four to five months, depending on the customer's feedbacks and customer availability. Okay. And the costing we can say around forty to sixty thousand dollars in between that. So it is like in twenty five percentage of cost we can get an enterprise solution. Correct, and in this solution you will get 
all the major modules where you can beat a strong brand in the which is already exist in the market with more features of course better than that actually uh, there are the big brands as we talk about the uber bolt or even let's say kareem and such they even don't have such kind of feature which we can add in our app and we can launch with that okay so we if uh, we can understand that there is three types we can say one is like it will take 1 to 1.5 years one is a clone one and one is you suggest to the everyone like they have to choose a customized module and it will be updated every time correct so it will give a more better solution in a taxi industry correct okay fine so well, as we discuss the cost now but what is the surety that it will work like there is so many bigger giants in this industry like uber lyft kareem that we have discussed so what is the surety that after spending this much of x amount it will work for sure, so you're asking that why the people should hire me? Yeah. Ultimately. Sure. So as, as we talk about, you know, to run a, any, any business or to make any business successful, mm -hmm. there are four pillars we talk as previously, marketing and market research, like uh, funding. Then I talk about the operations and the fourth part is the CTO part or technology part. So fourth part is you can say the CTO. If you will hire me, I can give you 100% assurance that you will not fail from technology side. Okay. It is not even the running side or even in operations or not even in a support time. Okay. If I'll be there in the product pictures, I'll make sure your product will mm -hmm. run successfully as a technical side or you will not face any issue where you cannot expand the solution in the future. Okay, and from technology you, side. Technology prospect. Oh. I can give you 100% assurance as a technical side. If I am here, a customer or the my, or my customer or even I can say my uh, investors who have worked with me, they will not face any issue as a technical. So what is other thing that might be not work? Like you, if you give your hundred percent as you are saying that, so why other taxis business will be fail? If what I, is the reason? I, 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 that's a really good question. Actually, one of the good questions I would love to answer that that even our user should know that you know today Tom Dick or Harry anyone is just starting the business of taxi, uh, they run the things and they got failure or they got a big failure. They, they, whatever the amount they have invested, it went to the zero or they go in a debt. So I'll guide you on that. Uh, I have, as I said, in, in, since last almost, I know, if I say eight to nine years, I'm just focusing on this business in the taxi world when I have worked with the various countries. And anyone just coming on the board and there's a taxi of solutions, they even need to promote a bell initially. They even say the big words that we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll run this way. But you know, whatever the amount they have, they spend most of the money on the development, or they spend the rest of the money on the operation cost, but they never focus on the market. Okay. So main major whatever the best you have until and unless your user will not see that how they will use it. So you okay. have to make your app in everyone's hand. Once it is on every user's hand, I'm giving you hundred percent surety that it will definitely work it. And second stuff I'll say operation part. You have to make sure the team which you are hiring. It is not major or not minimum. It should be an average team size where it's needed to operate the taxi solutions. Mayur is very grateful that you will be the part of our first episode of Tech Talkies. And I hope my users and everyone who wants to start a taxi business, they will watch this video and they will guide. And just of one request, if anyone wants to contact you, uh, so can they connect from your website or might be they connect you on LinkedIn? Is it fine? Yeah, sure. They can connect with me over my LinkedIn accounts or they can directly contact me on from my website. Even I'm, I'm available always. I have my details over my uh, website as well. So they can directly connect with me as well. So my thank you again for your time. Most welcome, Paris. It was a pleasure to talk with you. So user, I hope you enjoy this first episode of how technology is transforming the taxi industry. So now if you are looking forward to start your taxi business or if you have any query then you can comment us in a below section. Also subscribe to our channel to watch our next Tech Talkies episode. Thank you. I hope you enjoy this ride.